Welcome everyone to the 2023 Global Animal Disaster Management Conference brought to you in partnership with Animal Evac New Zealand and our platinum sponsor, Four Paws International. Before we start our session, we have a few basic housekeeping items. We want to bring your attention to an important update regarding the conference schedule. There was an error with the Australian Times for the New York sessions, so session F and H, on the initial schedule. Please visit our website at www.gadmc.org for the updated and corrected schedule. The Zoom chat feature has been disabled, so if you have any questions, please use the Q&A box. This year, we have enabled multilingual closed captioning. So if you would like to hear the presentation in another language, click on the closed caption icon at the bottom of the Zoom screen. We encourage you to use the hashtag GADMCONF in your posts about the conference on social media to help spread the word. A short evaluation will be made available as you exit the session. Your feedback is valuable to us and will help shape the next GADMAC conference. Finally, a reminder that the video recording of this and all other presentations will be available later this year once it has been properly edited. It is our privilege tonight to have John Manuel Agudelo Camacho with us this evening. He is a professor, professor at Remington University in Columbia with a passion for education and community resilience. He is with us today to discuss Sabritos, a pedagogical experience that changes the world. John Manuel. Hello, thank you so much. Uh, I want to take I want to take a challenge. I speak Spanish, but today I have prepared my lecture in English. I hope you like it. Hello, everyone. I hope uh, you're having a great day. It's an honor and privilege to be here today in front of this international audience that shares my passion for technical animal rescue. I would like to begin by expressing my deepest gratitude to the organizers of this work conference for giving me this incredible opportunity to present my lecture. From a very young age, I have felt a special connection to animals and deep need to protect and help those in danger. My journey, my journey in technical animal whiskey has not been easy, but, I, but it has been full of satisfaction and priceless learning. At this work conference, we have an opportunity to share knowledge, ideas, and best practice in technical animal whiskey. It's a crucial time to join force, learn from each other, and move forward together in our mission to protect and save lives. First, thank to all people who have took me animal whiskey but especially to Brandy Phillips. Brandy is my instructor in large animal rescue at the University of Florida, who has always believed in me and supports me from Florida with all her knowledge and humility. Thanks to you for believe in me and helps me so much. It is an honor to be your student on this path of helping animals anywhere in the world. Thank you so much, Brandy. The picture is my clinic. First, I would like to invite you to our, our university. Our veterinary clinic is in a rural area of Medellin, Colombia. <clears throat> it's located in middle of a forest in area near Medellin called Santa Elena, the place where the flowers are grown for the flowers fair that is being developed at this time. In this clinic, we serve small animals, large, large animals and wildlife. 
We also have the first forensic unit in the country that swore the animal welfare or of animals based on the laws of animal protection in the country. We also have the first veterinary clinic simulate, simulation laboratory, which I uh, direct. Everyone is invited to come to our university. We are an open classroom for everyone. Medellin. Medellin is a paradise called the city is of eternal spring, a city in a valley that is born around the Medellin River in Colombia. Their citizens of Medellin are called Paisas. If you can see the city, it has around a group of mountains that, that also has a wooded area. This territory is a chariot by animals and people. We are also a place of passage, passage for some species of animals of their migratory journey does not belong to the territory, especially birds, some small mammals, and there are reports of big cats in nearby some other towns. We also have hills around that unfortunately sometimes catch fire and sometimes we have animals with traumatic injuries and burns. Medellin is a biodiverse place that is full of contrast. Technical rescue us has always been an important part of my life and we have man managed to perform this type of care in large and small animals in different spaces with rudimentary equipment. But we have achieved for more than 10 years that animals are also of priority. Other prof professionals such as Julia Lema and Diego Hernandez have inspired me to build new paradigms to develop risky strategies and better and be better every day. Diego and Julia are people who are in charge of knowledge related to animal risky in Medellin and Bogota. Here are some pictures of how happy I am doing my job every day as, as a teacher, researchers, and coordinate coordinator of disaster management with animals at the university. Where I work, the first picture is a risky of a horse in a very difficult area. To observe what happened with the community that with respect to the risk we change the course of my projection as a veterinary, veterinarian and firefighter. We carried of some the first action to raise awareness about animal risk we be risked groups. We also built a mar marketing plan to sell to idea and make it appealing to everyone. To the let them know that five fires can assist animal in difficult situation and also to make community realize that this is necessary for everyone. Saving animal in fires, floods and other disaster is a duty of a five fires. In spite of having emergency in the city, and in some occasion, we support in attention. Our heart told us that something was missing. The approach of the situation must be integral then. Why were we only attending? We thought for a moment and said to ourselves, the community must also participate in the project. This is the history of an epic struggle that is changing the life of a student, children, and their family. What is Zebra? So Zebra is a special animal search and risky corps that seek to promote research activity, the construction of new knowledge, social protection, prospect pre-hospital care of humans and animals, and framing and management in order to develop research skills and community relations. 
thus promoting activities of academic deeping, formative research, and personal growth. We seek to build a space of a connection between academy, the community, the public and private sectors, developing a culture of resilience around play, playfulness, transdisciplinary work and animal welfare in emergency and disaster situation. We teach from a mental models because we are interested that the students learn information that lasts over time, but also that they can build new flexible knowledge and in real life use everything at their disposal. I think the most important thing is that truth metacognition with an important objective. The student must ask himself if what he's going, he's going is right and if there is any way to improve it. We create a functional and critical mentality that not only use all the acquired knowledge, but that invite them to create new knowledge. All this necessary to perform animal care, but also for life. Our labor is about being operative and attending emergency. My students can support emergencies, but no enter the hot zones because this unauthorized by politics of the country. Also, we, we have expertise in emergency and intensive care. I would like to say the veterinary clinic of the university supports us and the spaces are always open. Cerritos. Cerritos is a project will be carried out with children for the school of Media Luna Village in Santa Elena from first grade to fifth grade in elementary school. The space will originate from the students of a veterinary medicine with a central tent, which is risk management from the human and veterinary vision. The academic model will be de developed from constructivists, where students of veterinary medicine, children and teachers of the institution will participate building knowledge through experience and building solid foundation for future generations. Cerritos are children from eight to 10 years old who live in neighborhood near Santa Elena, a rural area in a place with many economic problems, vulnerable children, some with food security problems, who are close to violence and abuse with families who are committed to help them get ahead. This project is an excuse for the children to realize that there is another reality and that with education, they can improve their realities. And above all generate a change. I want to a student to be an example to follow and, the, and that with this example, they can get out of this reality that's extremely, extremely hard and sad. This, this is my little student, Luciana, is part of Sebritos. What they study in this program are these topics, but we do not do it in a common way. We teach with clinical simulation models and pedagogic, pedagogical strategies that allow the maintenance of knowledge for many years and that this knowledge is functional and critical. Topic such a basic emergency care for children, CPR, fire behavior for children, and safe attitude towards fire and other disasters. We also use information for the New, New York Fire Department to help the children draw their heroes. He is my heroes too. Being a public school, the teachers are part of the education system of the city. 
and this system currently changed the teachers. On three occasions, we have had to start from scratch with a new teacher. It's a challenge, but it's difficult. The resources are from the students and the teacher. We do not have direct support from the university. This year, we are asking the university for a monetary support for the uniforms of my little students. But despite all the inconvenience and difficulties, we continue with our work or mission. A student should go at least once a week and teach about risk management to the children. Thus, build this knowledge through empathy with other children and other communities that do not have the same opportunity as they do. As we can see, this is one of our, our sessions. You can see a student teaching, teaching to some Boy Scouts and other children. This is our, our labor and we are very proud to do it. And it's a beautiful project. The fairy Manolito and the Guardians of the Universe is a playwriting be, be me that seeks that children who belong to Cerritos through this exercise tell the community how important animals are and they need to take care of them perman permanently. It's a story where Manolito is a dog is sent to earth, suffer at times. However, he's saved by family takes that takes care of him forever. This place of operative, so we are going to take dogs that are part of the shelter management by the university for the public to fall in love with Manolito and adopt him. Always in each play, uh, we will have a Manolito from the shelter and we hope in this way also to allow that all the animals from shelters can be adopted. The booklets that are designed for children are made by adults. They are very nice and have valuable information. However, we want to build a beautiful book with drawings and definition of children for other children about climate challenge, disaster and risk management for animals. It is a pet that will make us very happy. These are drawings of the tree of little cebritos. They define words and situation about risk management, realities for which we prepare them. We are very happy about the product that we come out of our project. I said, but someone I have to do it. Landmines are a reality in Colombia. In many places in uh, the country, there are a space with the, this explosive device. The practice we do in Colombia are in rural areas and therefore students of veterinary medicine can be victim of these element, elements and cause death. This new, this new project seek that a student project terms of to teach this knowledge is other faculties of veterinary medicine and also teach communities about, about this problem. Together we build resilience and better future for, for all. This is my social media and my cellular phone and little and little video for Sebritos. Love, love my little students, my little and my little, little students. All pictures. And my invitation is for all people come on to Medellin. In this moment, um, the flowers fair in this moment in my, in my city and come on all people. Thank you so much. Jan Manuel, that was wonderful and so inspiring. Do we have any questions about the program 
that he is offering to the young students. It is wonderful to see you teaching younger, younger children and hope and encouraging them to share that with friends and family. Uh, I'm, uh, the answer is in Spanish, please. The comment is, what an amazing program. Thank you so much. How many students do you teach each year? In this moment, uh, 24, um, 24 children, because the program is a pilot in this moment. Wonderful. But in the future, I think uh, more people, I think more uh, 100 children in this zone. Excellent. Is this through a school district or is this an optional program that they do after school? In this moment, it's only for a um, district school. Uh, this is a public school only because in Colombia, the um, public school is very poor, but private school is, uh, me, mm, they have many money. Um, and I think it's very important to uh, help to um, other, other people with other necessities. Okay. Does anyone have any further questions for John? Have you shared this idea with other um, colleagues to see if they would do something similar um, in another area? of Colombia. Yes, in, in this, um, the past of week, uh, I talk about with uh, the last week, talk, talk with other uh, veterinarians in, um, in the north of Antioquia and other um, schools uh, they develop this program. How do the teachers like the program? Are they uh, able to incorporate it into their lessons as well? Um, I'm five fire and I think um, B five fiber um voy a responder en español. Well, ¿Te parece que te traduzca? Sí, profe, sí, profe, porfa. Dale. I'll, I'll do the translation. Oh, thank you, Gerardo. Sure. <laughs> eh, no. Gerardo, nosotros podemos eh, lo estamos haciendo en otros lugares porque en, en otros municipios del país hay bomberos y la idea es que la, la, el programa eh, pueda desarrollarse a través de los bomberos de Colombia. Ok, listo. So, uh, he's trying to uh, spread the word, the good word, into other counties through the uh, firefighter departments. Nice. Mm. Bueno. <laughs> Do we have any further questions? Yes, um, there's a slide that says uh, the students take on the role of teachers. Can those children go on to teach others? 
Entonces, John Manuel, eh, cuando los niños toman el rol de los maestros, ¿pueden enseñarle a otros niños? Sí, la idea es que en el momento en el que el, el coordinador, o sea, yo no, no esté, no, el programa continúe eh, dándose, no, no sea necesario que exista un profesor para que el programa se mueva, sino que desde el origen de los estudiantes se puedan desarrollar todas las ideas y que todos los niños tengan la, la misma información en todas partes. Yeah, so he's uh, hoping that the, uh, um, the, the program will survive him in case he's no longer with them or, uh, or on this planet. <laughs> uh, so uh, the, that the children can have the tools uh, to, uh, to spread the program by themselves in the future. Are there any plans to incorporate older students into the program? ¿Entendiste? ¿Has pensado en, en sí. poner gente más grande? Por el momento, eh, los estudiantes que están eh, realizando el trabajo son estudiantes que pertenecen al, eh, a, al grupo de investigación de gestión del riesgo. Y eh, son estudiantes de, de todos los semestres, del primer año hasta el último, hasta el último año. No, ne, tengo otros profesores que se han aliado para, por ejemplo, eh, realizar la obra de teatro que tenemos pensada para el final de este año. Sin okay. embargo, pienso que lo más importante es que existan estudiantes, solo estudiantes, haciendo este trabajo. The students uh, that participate right now are from, from all grades in the school, and they have to be part of the uh, disaster prevention program, a pre-existing um, all-encompassing uh, structure. And uh, he's also uh, in, enrolling other teachers to uh, prepare a, a theater play by the end of this year. Thank you, John Manuel. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. This is my symbol, Zebra. <laughs>